In the previous video, we have seen the basics of how to display, uh, you know, or generate pattern for a common cathode display. In this tutorial, we'll be uh, actually interfacing this seven segment with the AVR microcontroller and then uh, programming it to display the digits zero to nine and also A, B, C, D, E, and F. Now we know how uh, you know how this pattern comes and how these hexadecimal numbers are formed. So what I recommend you to do is if you're not uh, watched the previous video, just go back and watch it so that you'll know how to generate this pattern. And also generate this pattern if you're doing a common cathode display, uh, generate it uh, for digits zero to uh, nine and A, B, C, D, E, and F. Now let us go ahead and see how we could connect this particular seven segment uh, to uh, to the uh, 80 mega 32. Now, uh, so you could possibly connect it to any port. So uh, in this tutorial, I'll be connecting it to port C. Now note that if if you have a brand new 80 mega 32 controller. Uh, the port C also has JTAG interface on it. So ensure to disable JTAG so that you could use it as normal IO. If you're using a board from Explore Embedded, you need not do anything. So uh, let's just go ahead and uh, see how we could interface it uh, with the 80 mega 32. Now, uh, this seven segment, as we have seen, it's just, uh, you know, a bunch of uh, seven LEDs. Uh, connected uh, like this and all the cathodes of all the LEDs are tied together so this is actually there are eight LEDs as we have seen so that's the seven LEDs plus a decimal point so, so these are the seven LEDs and what we have here is all the uh, cathodes they are connected uh, together and whenever we give so this side should be obviously connected to ground so whenever we give one on this and the particular segment glows now the way we have these segments is like this like say this is a b c d e f g and this is the decimal point so physically these segments are not arranged in this way physically the segments are like this so this is the diagram on the seven segment so if you, you should have seen this so this is a this is b and this is c this is d this is e f g and you also have a dot here which is the decimal point now in the physical pins so we you have 10 pins on this seven segment and uh, so we'll see how these pins are located first so this is the seven segment so it has pins on uh, five on each side so there are five pins on each side so this is pin number one two three four and five so these are the five pins and so we have five similar pins on this side so this is six seven eight nine and ten so uh, let's say okay so the pin number so this pin number one that you have this is e and so if you give uh, plus five volts to this the segment e over here this would glow so similarly you have d then this is common cathode so this is common cathode so pin number three so i'll write it as k and then this is c this is the segment c and then this is the decimal point so this is the decimal point here so this is decimal point and so this pin number six is b a and again you have a common cathode and uh, this is f and g so the numbers for this are so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so uh, so this is how the segment physically looks okay so uh, so what we'll do is so assuming that this is our schematic so this is uh, a b c d e f g um, a to g segments and this is the decimal point uh, so the pin numbers three and eight so these needs to be connected to ground so what we'll do is we'll put a couple of resistors current limiting resistors and connect these two pins to the ground 
so this ground should be in common with whatever board you're using or you know if it is on a breadboard so you can connect this in common with the controller so this is one kilo ohm so one kilo ohm would suffice you can use uh, even lesser resistors so that it it you know it 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 glows in a bright fashion so this is the basic schematic now uh, so the this end of the leds this can be connected uh, to anywhere so so this can be connected uh, to any of the ports so in this case as you as i said earlier so this i'll be connecting it to port c so these are the basic connections so let's just go ahead and write uh, the code for this so this is simple so there would be basically what we do is uh, we'd f so since we are we are displaying and digits from 0 to 9 and let us a b c d e and f i will go ahead and first you know so we already done this so we'll put all the patterns for displaying all these digits in an array and then uh, we'll cycle this array uh, you know for 15 times so that each of the digits is displayed and we'll do it at a delay of you know one second so we'll display digit 0 wait for a second then display digit 1 2 until 9 and then the rest of the digits so let's just go ahead and write the code and just to save some time i have you know calculated this pattern here and uh, stored it so i'll we'll be using it so uh, so i have uh, defined it as an array of you know 16 uh, digits and then i have stored it here so let's just go ahead and look at the code now the first thing that we need to do so this is already set up so uh, you this we have discussed in the first video on how to set up this uh, particular atmel studio so directly go ahead and we'll code this thing so the first thing we need to do is uh, include uh, the header files so in this we need to you know generate uh, delay so uh, we should we you know we can include the inbuilt uh, delay library so include this is util slash delay dot h so this is the library uh, we would rather use the this these brackets or the arrow key so that it will uh, find this file in any directory uh, that is there okay so this is it so Okay, so first we need to set the port, uh, whatever we are using to output. So port C, you should make it output and you have seen this before. So to make it as output, we just need to send all once or FF. Now uh, we need, I mean, we might possibly need, uh, uh, first we need to you know, store all that we have uh, you know, calculated or all the segment codes in an array. So we'll just copy it from here. Okay, so this is here. So, and uh, we would also require one more variable. So this is uh, again an eight-bit integer. So this is uint underscore eight t. Yeah. So, uh, so let me call that count and initialize it to zero. Okay. Now, so this is set up. So what we would do is we would use a for loop for count equals zero to count less than 16 so that you know it counts from zero to 15 and we'll increment the count every time we go and then we'll keep displaying this so so what we do is port so uh, basically this is port C. So the segments are connected to port C. So uh, we'll take the segment code from this seg code. And um, so basically, so this is an array. So we need square brackets. So, and then this is count. So for the first time count is zero, it would take uh, the first segment and put it on the port C and the segment will display the digit zero. So, uh, and we do not want to run it continuously. So once it displays a digit, we want it to wait 
for some time and for that uh, I could use the inbuilt delay function so this is delay underscore m as it generates a delay of uh, one millisecond so we need thousand milliseconds to make a second and that's all so this is uh, very simple and the basic code for it I'll be putting this on the uh, website and the link would be below this video so you can just check the code also if you wish and so let me just uh, build this code and hope it does not have any errors yeah so uh, the code is compiled so we'll go ahead upload this code and look at the output so and if you're using the ultra development kit from explore embedded what you could uh, do is there is one more demonstration uh, of a single segment and even four segments multiplexed uh, so the video is also linked at the end of this video so you can go ahead and check that as well all right so let's rig up this seven segment on the breadboard and see how it works now uh, so this is the common cathode seven segment as we have discussed in the tutorial so uh, so there are five pins on top side and five on the bottom so we'll just place this on the breadboard and uh, we'll do the connections as we have seen so for my reference i've written down the pin numbers and how they should be connected so there are there are two common pins number three and number eight so we're connecting them through uh, this one kilo ohm resistors you know to the ground and uh, rest of the pins uh, of the seven segment we are connecting them to the port c0 to c7 of this particular board so let's just go ahead and hook this up and see how it works now i'll connect this uh, so if you can see here it is num numbered as number 10 so we'll just fix the seven segment over there okay so and so now uh, let's start with port c0 so port c0 is connected to a the segment a and the pin number for segment a is uh, where is segment a so it's number seven so uh, so let me just take port c0 and connect it to seven so uh, this is this is six and this is seven so let me connect it here uh, similarly port c1 goes to b which is pin number six and uh, the c port c0 goes to uh, segment c which is four over here and this D goes to pin number two of the segment, which is here, and E goes to E goes to what? So E goes to pin number one. So the pin number one of some segment is this. Uh, so this is the F. So this is our F and f is pin number so this is 10 so this is 9 yeah i hope i plugged it in the right place now let me take one more color yeah so okay this is red i think it's fine so uh, port c6 this goes to uh, so this is f and this is g so plug it in and 3 and 8 we need to connect it to resistors yeah. the one this is one kilo ohm resistor this is connected to I've taken the 8 first I'll plug it in here I'll take 3 which is here and I'll connect them both all right and I'll connect this to the ground of the board so this is the ground pin on the board now let's just uh, connect the power i already transferred the code so let's see how it works hope it works okay so the controller is reset uh, put a bootloader in this so it will take some time to boot 
so after a couple of seconds you can see uh, the segment is displaying numbers and it'll, since we have put it in while loop it will do it forever so I'll just hold down these wires okay so it will count from 0 to 9 a b c d e and f Alright, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more.